bug adventures and here i have a caterpillar that's just turning into a chrysalis so guys you won't believe this but we have two different types of caterpillars on our center what kinds we have the sleepy orange but we also have the cloudless sulfur which is the one that we found the caterpillar of well how can you tell that it's it's the cloudless sulfur the cloudless sulfur caterpillar turned from green to yellow two different kinds of caterpillars on our center yep how cool is that wow so amazing <laughs> can you wait for it to turn into a butterfly no <laughs> I right this instant. What's that? I wanted to do it right this instant. Ooh, right few, more days. A few more days. Few more Woo days. Few more days. Woohoo! This is a sulfur caterpillar. Right, and they're the ones that we found here yes. on our sulfur plant. Oh, how long ago was that? That was days ago. Just a few days. Look at how much he's grown already from he when you so found big. him. So, guys. Can't you see that he's sort of in a weird position? That's what we call a J shape because he's sort of like a J. And then while, and you see all that webbing there? That's their anchor so that he can stay attached. And why do they need all this webbing? I thought only spiders created webs. No, they need it so that they can anchor themselves onto the wall and not fall off. So can you demonstrate maybe on a plant? If you were a caterpillar, yes. what would you do? So if I was a caterpillar, I'd be under a leaf uh -huh. and I'll be hanging on somewhere here with an anchor that would be just sort of like a little ball of sticky thread. So we're going to pretend that there's a huge storm. You may have to move your other hand, honey, because you're blocking. Yeah. So there you are, you're a caterpillar under the leaf and here comes a huge, huge storm. But what happens next if you're an itty-bitty caterpillar like this little fella? Well, what do you do? Well, your anchor keeps you attached to the leaf. What kind of an anchor? It's a metal one like the ships? No, it's <laughs> basically a ball of thread that's wrapped around the leaf and keeps them attached to it. How clever are caterpillars? That's they pretty are amazing. so clever. So for all those people, and even us at some point, we learned that webs are not only made by spiders. No, they are made by caterpillars and even moths. Do you remember what this is called? Yes, that's called a button. Yes, so they make a button first as an anchor. And then by the way, what's all this that we see here? This, uh, these little pellets are called frass, which is basically- What is that? Frass is basically caterpillar um, caterpillar droppings. <laughs> caterpillar droppings. <laughs> so they do eat and they poop, right? Yeah, caterpillar poop. Caterpillar poop. And as you can see, he's still working on building it. We'll update you as he forms his anchor. And by the way, people think that caterpillars have a lot of legs, but how many legs do they really have? They really only have six. So look, I see those six pairs of legs right here. Those are at the very top there. Yes, those are their legs. And when they turn into a chrysalis, they start to form longer. And then they come out as a very long leg as a butterfly. So they do they keep all of those six legs yes, as a butterfly? Yes, they keep all of them. They just get extended. Definitely. And I'm guessing that maybe there are some hooks and things that get, add on, that get added on, yeah. right? What an amazing part of nature we're looking at here. And he's also changed color. He has. What he, was, he what was the be, change you've noticed? He used to be a leafy green like yes, this. Yes, he was. And then he's turned into a yellow. Right. And when he turns into a full chrysalis, he'll be all yellow. Definitely. And then what color is the butterfly that pops out? Yellow. Yellow. So now he's really, really beginning to look like the butterfly he's meant to be. Yes, he really is. So honey, he's moving. What's happening here? So what he's doing is he's splitting his skin down his back and then he's that- Split here somewhere. Yes, that skin will fall off and then his hard chrysalis shell will start appearing. And in the beginning when the chrysalis comes, it's not super hard. It takes them a while, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to completely harden. Yes. So honey, I know it's been like a year since we've seen these butterflies. Do you remember what the chrysalis looks like? It looks 
just like a triangle. A tri yeah. Oh, and a wind is, sail. It does kind of look like a wind yeah, sail, a this, sailboat wind yes, sail. Yes, and it has this leafy green, yellowish, really pretty color. It really is very, very pretty. And I've noticed one interesting thing about a sulfur butterfly and how the shape of the sulfur butterfly kind of matches the shape of the crystals. It really does. The sulfur butterfly is more of a triangular shaped butterfly. It is. And the chrysalis is more triangular shaped. Just like the butterfly. Yes. So it's almost like the chrysalis is getting ready to become a butterfly with its very shape even. Yes. This is the time of their life where they're the most vulnerable. They are extremely vulnerable, which is why we have him carefully tucked away in this Tupperware. Don't you love this golden yellow color? I really do. Okay. He's wiggling out. I think he might be becoming a chrysalis right now. Oh, wow, he is. Yes, he is. He might be morphing into a chrysalis right this moment. I think he probably is. He has to be. So honey, it can take a while for a, uh, a caterpillar to turn into a chrysalis, right? Yes, it can take up to 12 hours. There is so much effort that the caterpillars put into turning themselves into a chrysalis. And oh, What's the effort? And I just saw Sleepy Orange go right over oh. our roof. <laughs> Too late now, I guess we can get it. So what's all this effort that they put in? They do it. Because it, if you were a caterpillar, you would understand. Oh. It's very hard to wiggle out of the skin and then just hang there, slowly hardening your body and sitting in a chrysalis for weeks. It's so much effort and time that the caterpillars put into it. And that's why we will record every single part of the way to a butterfly. So guys, I have a game. Let's play Guess the Time, where you guys put a time frame in the comments below about how many hours it'll take for him to turn into a chrysalis. Oh, what a cool game. What are we going to call it? Let's call it Guess the Time. Guess the Time it is. So when does the countdown begin? It begins in three, two, one, go. Remember to put how many hours you think it'll take in the comments below. Congratulations! Look, he just enclosed out of his chrysalis! 